After great pain, a formal feeling comes, the nerves set ceremonious like tombs. The stiff heart questions, was it he that bore, and yesterday or centuries before? The feet, mechanical, go round a wooden way of ground or air or aught, regardless grown, a court's contentment like a stone. This is the hour of lead, remembered if outlived, as freezing persons recollect the snow. First chill, then stupor, then the letting go. Oh my goodness, this is having your heart broken. This is having your heart broken. And I want to just highlight this and, and spend a moment with it because she did in three stanzas what is hard to communicate in any, any language of any type, of any length, right? Three small stanzas. After great pain, a formal feeling comes. <laughs> formal feeling. Formal feeling. Well, Maybe this alliteration is not uh, actually emulating the sound of anything in her poetry, but that's not, that's not happy. It's not happy. Formal. What, what's down, what starts with F? Mm, okay. The F word. Uh, okay. So a formal feeling comes. What is a formal? Formal is like very, you know, you're in the military. You're just, uh, ten, hut, right? You're formally, you're standing there formally at attention. It's very formal. What what is a formal dance? You wear your formal dress, man. You're in a tuxedo if you're a dude, or if you're a woman, you're in you're in whatever. And that kind of swap, anybody can wear anything they want, right? But but uh, there's tuxedos and there's formal dresses, right? After great pain. Now this is after your heart is broken. This is not the moment of heartbreak. This is after heart your heart is broken. Remember, I said many times. I said, um, you know, if you have never had your heart broken, you should try it. <laughs> That's terrible. Why? Not because I, I'm some masochist and I want you to feel pain, but because it's one of the seminal experiences of life, right? It is as if someone reached into your chest and pulled out your heart and took a bite of it and spat it out and put it on the ground and then watched you wiggle and squirm. It's just as if your soul is reached, just wrenched from your body and just is right up here looking at you, you know, and you're just, it's terrible. It's horrible. It's the worst thing ever to have your heart broken. You, you don't, you won't, you don't die from it, but you want to. And it lasts lifetimes. It lasts lifetimes. At my mother, at my mother's funeral, my father, who had been divorced from her for 30 years, over 30 years, sat down and cried. I've never seen the man cry in my life. He cried and he cried and he cried. After a great pain, a formal feeling comes. The nerves set ceremonious, like tombs. Notice the slant rhyme, comes, tombs. What about the nerves? The nerves, the nerves are like your inner electrical signals, but they're like your inner people, maybe. <laughs> but the nerves sit ceremonious. They are sitting as is as if at a ceremony. Very formal, like very proper, very up, very erect, up straight, uh, straight up and down. You know, the nerves sit in a ceremony, sit ceremonious like tombs. But wait, Dickinson, what like tombs? What the nerves sit like tombs? Wow. So there's this word association, like to have your heart broken is 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 to die. A part of you dies, and is maybe deposited in a tomb. The stiff heart. Now your heart has become stiff. Stiff. Think about your heart stiff. Think about someone who is jaded about life. A, a misanthrope who hates all humans. Someone who is, has just, is, just, is just negative all the time. Stiff. <clears throat> stiff. Your stiff heart. Your heart be has become stiff, calloused, maybe. Your stiff heart questions, was it he that bore? So like after a after a, the end of a relationship, you, you question, like, wait, wait, what, 
what happened? Was it me? Or like, was it, was it her? Was it me? Was it, did it, was it something I did? Could I have done better? I mean, what does, I, so she says, the stiff heart questions, was it he that bore? And yesterday or centuries before, like when did it happen at the beginning? Or was there, was there hope or like, was it century? When, when, you know, so you just, the questions start to come. Oh gosh, was it me? The feet mechanical go round. So you got to wake up and go to work. You can't, you can't just crawl into a room and die. You got to wake up and go to work and do your stuff. So you have the, the, your feet, they're mechanical at this point. You are seriously walking around just going through the motions. They're mechanical. They go round a wooden way. A wooden way, okay. It's like a, 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 a sidewalk of wood. A wooden way. You feel wooden, don't you? You feel like a puppet. You feel wooden. You don't feel like you have a soul anymore. You're just kind of walking around doing, doing the motions, but you're not really there. Oh, you feel it. You feel it so deep. <sighs> A wooden way, but it's not all wooden. It's of ground or air or ought. Whoa. So it's a wooden way of ground. It might be ground, dirt, but it might be air. Might as well be air. You don't even know where you're walking or ought. What is ought? Like, like you, you ought to have done this. I ought to have done this. I ought to have done this. That <laughs> is the regrets. Oh, I, I ought to have. I ought to. A court's, a court's contentment like stone. Now, if you're writing an essay about this, you can write about the diction because look, courts, stone, wooden, ground, tombs, stiff. Oh, I'm seeing it. Lead. See the, all those words that are hardened? They're hardened. They are inanimate, not living, hardened. That's what you are after great pain. You're hardened. You're like stone. This is the hour of lead. You feel like lead. And, and this is after the crying. This is after the moaning and the screaming and all that kind of stuff. This is, this is after great pain. When the formal feeling comes, it's a feeling of lead. This is the hour of lead. When you become lead and remembered, if outlived, if outlived, you may not outlive it, she says. Wow. Remembered if outlived. As freezing persons recollect the snow. First chill, then stupor, then the letting go. <laughs> wow. So you see all the, the words of hardness. You see so much there, mechanical. You feel mechanical, your feet. And you see these recurring themes like feet and lead, those, those same boots of lead, right? That is, is to me, the best description of a, of a heartbreak that, I, that you can imagine. It's not right during the heartbreak. It's after it. When you kind of start to get back to your life, 